This video demonstrates a procedure for converting a quantum control expert program with local I.O. or remote I.O. that can be moved into a local rack to an M340 with X80 I.O. The tools utilized to perform the conversion are EcoStructure Control Expert version 15, Unity M580 Application Converter, UMAC Tool version 3.1.7 standard, Excel to record state RAM addresses, Ethernet settings, and other parameters that may not carry over to the new program during the conversion process. The project to be converted is for a Quantum 140 CPU 43412U processor with two S908 remote racks. The program will be converted to an M340 with local I.O. To start, open a Quantum Control Expert program that has been built and validated. Have a notepad and pencil handy or create an Excel worksheet to record data that needs to be collected. After the program is open, do the following. Go to Tools, Projects Headings. At the bottom left of the screen, select Export to save a copy of the configuration program. Select OK to close the project setting. Double click local bus in the project browser to open the local bus image. Double click the CPU and select the configuration tab. Record the state RAM configuration for future use. Close the CPU and local bus windows. In the project browser, double click the RIO bus. Double click each IO module and record the state RAM addresses for each card. Close the I.O. and remote I.O. bus windows. In the project browser, expand the communications object to expose the available networks. Double click each network and record the configuration parameters. Do a rebuild all of the project, correct any errors that may have been introduced, and export the project to a .zef file. This is the data recorded for the program that is to be converted. The next step is to use the UMAC tool to convert the quantum program file to a M580 with X80IO. Open the UMAC tool and select Start. Select Quantum Application from Unity. Select Next and read the preparation notes that will be displayed. Select Next. In this section here, we want to pick the source file that we are going to convert. So hit Open and select the uh, .zef file created earlier. It will go through an analysis of the program. Once that's done, just hit OK. Hit Next. And on this screen here, most of the things can just remain at default with the exception of the hardware configuration, select the drops, go down to the remote I.O. and we want to change both of them to replace with EIO X80 drop. Select which module you want to use there, then on the same thing on the second one, replace EIO with X80 drop. Hit OK. And once you hit OK in the bottom left-hand corner, select Convert. So it'll take it a few moments to do the conversion process on the program. Okay, once the conversion has completed, just hit OK. And then in the bottom left-hand corner, select Save As. Hit the check mark, noting that you've read the warnings here. Hit OK. And save it in the folder that you want and the file name you want. So I hit save there. Tell me it's already there. So yes, I'm going to change the new one. Now we can select finish. Next, open the .zef file created by the UMAC tool. Once the program is open, do a rebuild all project. And what this will do, it will show all the errors down in the output window that have occurred during this conversion from quantum to M580. Double click on any one of the errors 
And I'm going to click this one here, and it will bring up the source of the error that we can now correct. Uh, we're going to see a number of errors, possibly. Some of them will be informational only, such as the README file, which just gives us information on things that we need to look at. These errors can be corrected either by remarking them out using a combination of the parentheses and the uh, <clears throat> asterisk mark, one at the beginning and one at the end. Or I could actually just delete this file that uh, was created here. Other errors that may occur are for DFBs that do not convert correctly, variables with wrong format such as word instead of unsigned integer, or variables that do not exist. What we want to do is correct all the errors. Once we've corrected all the errors, we want to save the project. I'm going to save as a different name here. So save, yes. Then I want to export the master task. Export, save it someplace where I can find it and give it a name that I want. And in this case here, I'm going to go back, go to my libraries, documents, <coughs> bottom dm 340 LPU4, and conversion with uh, complete IO. So we're going to save that there. And this exported file will be used in the next steps of the conversion. The final step is to create a new control expert program with a M340 processor, a NOE module, and the correct X80IO modules for replacing the quantum IO modules. Rather than use a M340 with Ethernet, I chose the BMX P34-2000 with a NOE module because the NOE provides IO scanning, NTP, as well as other capabilities not provided on the BMX P34-2020. Using the spreadsheet created earlier, do the following. Open the PLC bus screen. Double click the P34-2000 processor and in screen and in the configuration tab, set the memory management to mixed topological and state RAM. Set the percent %M, percent %MW, percent %I, and percent %IW values equal to those values recorded from the original quantum program. Close the BMX-34-2000 screen. Next, we want to set the configuration for the I.O. modules. Double-click each I.O. module and select the uh, module description in the top left-hand corner. Go to the Memory tab, and in the Memory tab, select Mix Topological and State RAM. Set the State RAM addresses equivalent to the quantum I.O. that the X80 cards are replacing. The first quantum DAI card state RAM address was 4001 through 4016. So I'll just enter that in here. And then we will validate this card. And yes, so now we have the 4001 through 4016. Close the uh, I.O. configuration screen. The next thing we want to do is check the configuration of any NOE cards. So we go down here to our communications networks and double click my NOE card. My IP address configuration set that to what we had in the quantum. Close the NOE configuration screen. Earlier, an export file of the project settings was created. We want to import that file into this uh, project. So go to Project Set Tools, Project Settings, Import. Go to where the file is saved. And it's going to be under here. I'm going to import that. Open. 
see that this will go through a few steps and changes some settings to match what we had originally hit OK yes do you confirm yes now let's rebuild all project okay next we want to import the logic that was created earlier so we got a task right click import and uh, do you want to save the file I'm gonna say no because I'm just gonna add to this particular file go to my documents go to my quantum m340 lpu4 and here should be my file for that port I'm gonna do yes gives it a minute or two second or two to import do the import then again we're going to rebuild all project to find any errors that we might have and uh, when we get done here we come up with we have three errors that will need to be addressed and if I go to those errors be right here it says object cannot be created and uh, it is a L9 stat block that's not supported in the M340 so then you would just need to manually go in and create whatever logic you need to take care of that stat block or the stat block might can just be deleted completely and that's how you convert a quantum project to an M340 project using the UMAC tool.